highly trained adults compared to highly trained kids? See, training philosophy varies between the adults and between the kids. Um, with my athletic population, our intent, my intensity level is really, really high with them as opposed as opposed to an adult. Um, the kids are when you're in a athletic program and you're and you're competing, the demands for intensity, demand for more strength, the demand for more conditioning, more time under tension is there, as opposed to an adult who's working 40, 50 hours a week, who's and has a family and they're trying to squeeze in 20, 30 minutes of fitness. So, and with them, I'm sorry, and with them it's more of a, it's not really about competition, it's more about health and fitness, uh, about maintaining a healthy lifestyle. So uh, it's about keeping me out of the doctor's office, keeping me healthy for my family. So those things are different. Um, as far as just true training philosophy, most of your adult population, once you start, and this, and this is very few, some of them you can be a little bit more intense with and progress them through more of a traditional athletic, some of my quasi-athletic program to where you can't, but for the most part, they'll be using some of the more unconventional equipment and various different loading patterns as opposed to the kids. So my training philosophy with the adults is just a slow, steady progression, um, lots of variety, um, make sure that I am mindful of the um, their posterior alignments, their past injury concerns, their health concerns, various things like that to where the kids, I'm, man, I'm really a cage tiger on that, I really don't care, get in here, get in here and get your butt to work, so, it, training philosophy is different, and I, that's an interview in itself.